Uh, hey, welcome. Uh, Lucas Halim from Course Careers here with Daniel. Uh, he recently or somewhat recently landed a, a data analyst or actually business intelligence, I think is the title role. Um, Daniel, uh, would you mind introducing yourself, uh, telling us a little bit about what you were doing before you ended up in this role? Um, yeah, a little bit about your background. Yeah, um, great questions. So a little bit about me. Um, before data analytics, uh, I was actually working um, in manufacturing. Um, definitely a tougher environment, um, you know, 12 hour shifts. I was also working overnight. Um, so definitely just um, crazy environment to be in. Uh, at the same time I was working there, I was uh, attending college um, where I eventually got my degree. Um, but yeah, um, that's kind of like where I started before data analytics. Uh, so can you just explain, did you get the degree um, while you're working in manufacturing? Yes. So I got the degree while working in manufacturing and I was still working in manufacturing um, even while I, while I graduated. And so I felt that I needed something else, something more um, to really get the job that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. And so that's what, you know, led me to course careers and, and here we are. Okay. Okay. Um, and so you graduated, you, you were still working in manufacturing and, and then you started looking around for other options, you know, for work. And Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So I was, um, graduated, uh, obviously still working same, same job. Um, but knew I didn't want to be there. Um, my health was just deteriorating at that, at that type of role, that type of job I had. And, um, it was, interesting enough, um, I had a friend who had just moved to Europe And I asked him, um, you know, why'd you move to Europe? And he said, oh, I'm a data analyst. I work remote. Um, and so I can pretty much work from anywhere. And so I decided to move to Europe. And that's what really caught my attention with data analytics. And so from there, I really just, you know, looked into it. And yeah, just, it just went all in. Okay. 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 Um, and how'd you hear about course careers? Yeah, so really... Um, just going through online, I was just researching, you know, different ways to, to uh, learn data analytics. Obviously there was a whole bunch of different courses out yep. there. Um, but actually I came across a couple of YouTube videos um, and I saw some people who uh, were coaches in the course um, talking about the course and really just kind of doing my due diligence on those YouTube videos and also okay. reading some reviews uh, about the course. And yeah, that's what really, you know, All right. yeah. 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 Do it. Um, yeah. And so what, what was your experience like going through the course? Uh, how long, when did you, you know, when did you start, how long did it take you, you know, did you get stuck anywhere? That kind of stuff. Yeah. So uh, surprisingly enough, the course didn't take me that long, actually. Um, I really just did, dedicated a whole lot of time to it. Um, I knew it is something that I was hundred percent wanted to do. So the course probably took me, um, I want to say a little over two, I would just say right around two months to finish. And then from there, I spent time applying to roles um, right away. And the course was amazing. What, what separates course careers from other courses out there is one, the this teaches you the skills very well. And then also teaches you how to do well in interviews and also teaches you how to, um, you know, set up your resume, your LinkedIn to actually find opportunities. And so there's no course out there that really does those three things. Um, so, so yeah. And then, you know, from after I, you know, finished all the skills section, I went on applying to roles and it was crazy how fast I, I was able to get a role just by using the methods taught in the course. Hmm. And yeah, so I, I would say the whole process, I, I landed a job in less than three months. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I think you are the fastest of anybody I talked two months to finish. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you have experience with like Excel or any of the other tools, at least a little bit? I had experience with Excel for yeah. sure yeah. in high school and college, um, yeah. but none of the other, the two, other tools. Then, so yeah. SQL, SQL, that was new. Tableau was new. Yeah. And Python was new. So all those things yeah. were new. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and then like, what was your process to actually land, uh, the role? Like how, you know, how many applications did you send out? Did you have anybody look at your resume? You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Great question. So at first it was just mass applying to different companies on, on the website mm -hmm. and that was fine. I, I probably, you know, I would say I applied to around 
20 through their website and one or two kind of got back to me. Um, and then, you know, I made it to the interview stage with, with that company and I made it to the first round uh, and, and I believe the second round, but didn't make it past that. Mm -hmm. Right. And so that's when I decided to um, really just kind of go back to the course mm -hmm. and just go through that section again of, of interviewing and also finding other ways to, to find roles And so from there, uh, I pretty much just set up my LinkedIn profile, the way the course laid out, updated my resume, the way the course laid out. And really after I did that process, I had recruiters reaching out to me left, left and right. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Left and right. And um, that's actually how I, I got the interview for the role I am now. A uh, recruiter reached out to me. Um, they liked my, my profile. They liked my experience that I had on there. And so I set up an interview And um, I make sure I went to the course and went over how to, you know, do the interview process well. And from there, yeah, the landing the role was just super, super Interesting. fast. Interesting. Uh, Yeah. lately, I've had a couple recruiters reach out to me who are fakers, right? And you can only, you can tell the fakers because if you look carefully at their their email address, it'll say at the end at gmail.com instead of like the actual institution they're pretending to, to write you from, right? Have you had those at all? Those Honestly, technology? I haven't seen any, No. I haven't seen any fakers. No, like, Well, nice, nice. I guess the people just think must think I'm the sucker because I, I I actually got fooled for a little while with one of them. They're like, oh, this is going to be a three hundred thousand dollar job, and then I looked. It's like, it, it, they made it look like it came from the institution, but if you actually look at the email address, it was like Right. at gmail.com. So I was like, this is fake. Um, cool, but you got real interview <laughs> recruiters Yeah. reaching out to you, and um, and so yeah, that 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 that's uh that's amazing. Um, and did you do any coaching or was it purely like reviewing the material in the course? Because we have right now we have Nada as our coach. We had a, di a different person doing coaching before, um, you know, and, and for people who finish the data analytics uh, course, I typically will offer to, to pay for their first coaching session because I think much as the recorded videos are helpful, like having someone actually take a look and actually talk to you about where you are. Like there's value in that, I think. So, so, you know, it's nice to talk to chat GPT. You could tell about yourself, but I think also talking to a person could be good. Yeah, absolutely. No, 100%. I, I did uh, do coaching with Nada. And like you said, the um, you paid for the first one, which was free. And I, I, and I didn't want to check it out because, of course, um, for me, what the most important part was the interview process. I was getting interviews, but I wanted to obviously pass those interviews. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my first coaching session with her was amazing. You know, Nada has, as you know, she has a lot of experience in the industry. She's a manager herself. Uh, worked for with very reputable companies and my first interview session with her was or my first coaching session with her was just amazing i i went from being in the dark to being full of light with when it comes to interviews like now i fully understand you know how to answer questions uh you know what questions to ask um well you know pretty much just best way to frame my answers um so yeah and then from there i actually invested in i want to say around about two more sessions with her And they just made the difference. Honestly, they really made the difference in, in helping me land the role I have today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice, nice. Um, okay. Just making, making me basically feel more comfortable with the interview process. So it sounds like Yeah. Absolutely. basically the course itself, you got really comfortable with how to set up your profile, but then you wanted to be more confident in the interviews. And that's where the coaching uh, was most helpful. 100%. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, did you end up using any of the, like, you know, we have a course discord where people are discussing where they get stock or whatever. Do you, did you end up using that at all? Or you pretty much were able to, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I use the Discord channel for our projects. I know I, um, once the course career, I know the course included three projects. And uh, after I finished my projects, I put some of those in the Discord and got some feedback on it. Mm -hmm. It was, it was great feedback from, from the, the assistants. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, another question. So, so, uh, did you end up, uh, sort of focusing on remote roles or were you doing like hybrid roles as well? Like, you know, how did you decide what roles to like kind of consider? Such a great question. Actually, um, I wasn't considering any kind of role, actually. I was fine with hybrid. I was fine with in-person, honestly. Um, but the opportunity kind of fell on my lap uh, where, you know, the, the, the recruiter had reached out to me and she said, um, hey, this is a fully remote role. Here's, you know, kind of the salary range, this, that, that, that. And uh, yeah, it just kind of fell on my lap, honestly. Okay. But 
after working remote, I can honestly say that it's definitely a good, good type of role to have Yeah, for sure. yeah. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, can you tell me like a little bit more about your uh, current position? Like, you know, okay, it's remote. Um, like, yeah, what, what tools are you using? Like what, what's the environment like, you know, what's the name of the company if you're, you know, comfortable with saying it and then, you know, pay range, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So currently I'm a business intelligence analyst and I support the go-to-market team. So I, I specifically support sales. Um, so a lot of sales data um, and main tools I use here are SQL and Tableau. There is a little uh, mix of Excel in there. Um, yep. But yeah, SQL and Tableau are, are the main ones. Um, and I, I work for a company called Outreach. Great company. Um, been around a little over 14 years, um, really big in the sales, uh, engagement, um, industry. Um, so great company, great environment, um, great, great support staff in terms of the data team. Um, great, great team that I work with and yeah, fully remote, uh, which is beautiful. Um, and it was, it was great because, um, the kind of, before I interviewed, they, they gave like a, a pay range. Um, which I was comfortable with, but I, once I accepted my offer, including bonuses, um, I'm right at a hundred thousand a Dude, year. Yeah. nice. Yeah. For like a first roll, that's awesome. That is awesome. That's, Yeah. I think that's a little bit beyond what, what we say in the marketing materials for our course careers It is. as, as far as your first salary. So, you, you know, you should complain. You say, you know, you, you didn't tell me the truth. Yeah. I know That's you awesome. understated, you understated the truth. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's, that's super cool. That's super cool. So, uh, So, yeah, it sounds like you were really aggressive about, you know, going through the course material and you got some like hands on help. Uh, so that's that's great. That's great. Um, like any other advice for people like, you know, listening who are are like maybe frustrated, you know, with it, with their career situation? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, the biggest, the biggest advice I can give is I understand the frustration, especially for those out there trying to find a job and they can't find even interviews or opportunities. Uh, really adapting to the market, which means learning the skills that you need to learn, that you need to know in this market will make the difference in finding those opportunities and getting those opportunities. So really that comes down to investing in something like course careers that will give you the knowledge on not just skill set, um, but how to position yourself on LinkedIn, uh, how to how to position your resume, um, and also how to do well in interviews, knowing what kind of questions that the interviewers or the hiring managers will ask. Uh, learning, I would say, those components really will make the difference in getting opportunities. Nice, Yeah. nice. Cool. Well, that that's awesome. I think those are all of my questions. So I really uh, appreciate you you taking the time. And uh, yeah, again, congratulations on on landing that uh, that position. I think a lot of people are are really hoping to get a role like what you've gotten uh, with a with a company with great coworkers. You know, uh, excellent compensation, remote. I mean, that's that's really uh, really awesome. And uh, yeah, yeah, congratulations, man. Awesome. Thank you. And thank you for, uh, you know, doing a great job teaching and doing a great job on just giving, especially in the interview process, you know, just doing a great job of laying out what kind of questions, you know, uh, would be asked and, and that we should ask as well. So, yeah, thank Yeah, you. you, you want to show up like you've already done some research about the company, right? You're thinking about it and already want to show like, you know, I, I'm ready to figure out how this place is going to work and figure out how I can add value instead of like, you know, I, I've had it, I've interviewed people where they come and they can't even tell me the basics of what the company does or they haven't read the, the latest news about the company. I'm like, eh, you know, because to me that shows ownership, right? If you do the research to understand, I'm ranting maybe a little bit, but if you do the research to learn a little bit about the company, that tells me that you're the kind of person that goes and figures things out on their own, right? If you show up and you want the hiring manager to explain what you're going to do, that's not going to be someone I'm going to want to work with. So, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Um, yep, cool. Well, uh, congratulations and thank you so much for your time, Daniel. Yeah, thank you, Lucas.